Now, your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Riley Hale. All right, welcome back. If you are heading out this evening, temperature is not feeling too bad at the moment. We're still at 64 degrees, but we'll be dropping into the 50s over the next couple of hours. But going to have to wait until much later tonight to see our low temps eventually work their way down anywhere from the upper 30s to low 40s across the region. So it is going to be a little bit of a chilly start to your Tuesday morning, especially if you're going to be up right around sunrise. Other than that, though, should be a beautiful day tomorrow. We're expecting high temps to reach the low 60s, seeing a few clouds pass by at times Tuesday, and it will be a little bit breezy out there, but expecting the windier day to be on Wednesday. That's going to be where we start to see our temperatures drop back below average, especially into the afternoon. High temps Wednesday will only top out into the 50s, so a good bit cooler than what we did see out there earlier this afternoon. Now the wind gusts are going to be close to 15 miles an hour throughout the day's Tuesday, but they increase between 20, maybe even close to 25 miles an hour at times on Wednesday afternoon. Nothing that's really going to cause any major impacts outside of just knocking down a few leaves across the area, so expecting just a little bit of a breezy next couple of days. Here's for tomorrow. We're expecting the wind direction mainly out of the west, anywhere from 8 to 12 sustained. Remember, those gusts will be close to 15. Once we get into our Wednesday, a second front will push through Tuesday night, so our wind direction changing out of the northwest behind that, and that's where it's going to be getting a little bit breezier for us. 12 to 18 mile an hour sustained winds and potentially gusting over 20 at times. And once we see the breezier uh, conditions on Wednesday, there's going to be some cooler air behind it. Most likely going to see our low temps bottom out close to freezing by Thursday again on Friday morning before warming up those morning temps back into the 40s by this weekend. Now, if you do need to get any yard work done this week, we still have a ton of leaves falling across the area. I may want to hold out until Thursday because Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be a little bit breezy and it's just going to continue knocking down a lot of leaves. So I'd imagine by the time we get to Thursday afternoon, there may not be much left on the trees out there. Once we get into tonight, we're going to see mostly clear skies. Temperatures uh, staying in the 50s at least around 9, 10 o'clock. Once we get to the round daybreak tomorrow, you can see anywhere from the 30s for us here around I-20 and north of it to the 40s in the southern CSRA. Once we get into tomorrow afternoon, I would imagine we see uh, stay mostly sunny during the day. There may be some high level clouds at times, but beautiful conditions. Most likely seeing those highs work their way into the 60s out there tomorrow. Once we get into Wednesday and Thursday, those high temps will drop off into the 50s, so just a few degrees below average for this time of year. Heading into the weekend, looks like we do stay mostly dry. Cannot rule out a few showers, but don't cancel anything just yet. Well, the pickle.